session which is another keynote revolving around understanding the importance of internet maturity from the perspective of school leaders teachers as well as students for this i call upon mr raghu pandey on stage he is the author of the book become an internet mature student he is accompanied by the ceo of edtech review mr utkarsh lokesh sir please good morning one and all i am raghu pandey from imature.in and uh, thank you very much edtech review for giving me this opportunity to talk to uh, a very nice uh, forward looking group of educators who have come here to talk to uh, who have come here to discuss on a very important issue and uh, of course we are going to you know softly push you towards uh, adopting digital citizenship and internet maturity uh, in your school but before i start my presentation this this slide is specifically for the purpose to you know tell you that we understand what educators principals and decision makers at school go through so uh, we know you are always finding this uh, a challenge to prioritize things what to do what is important what is not and there is some devil always eating up your time and everybody is telling you keep our proposal in that a basket you know although uh, this might be a practically a better stack to keep there but anyway this is just to tell you that we understand what you go through and now we are going to tell you how important digital citizenship and internet maturity really is you know the story right what we are trying to tell you is the five five piper of family so uh, something similar the journey of dcim goes through once internet was a convenient tool it was very useful but then people in this place thought that no it's not enough uh, okay all right so uh, would somebody like to guess what this place is if i tell this is the mecca of it all right this is silicon valley so when the internet was uh, a convenient tool a useful tool and we we did access internet for a couple of reasons people here thought that no it's not enough they were not satisfied so they thought that uh, we need more engagement we need to engage the people more towards internet so somewhere around 2000 such thoughts started coming up and now we have what these are familiar icons that you have in your smartphones in your laptops these are nothing but tools of engagement that those one of the smartest brains on the planet have created to keep us engaged with them and they are pretty successful there's no doubt about it they are pretty successful in that to uh, just give you uh, you know you know the reasons why why we are so hooked to internet but you know just to give you a small recap why actually we are i'm going to take just one example and this is to just help you gauge the enormity of what internet really is that example is say you are a book lover okay you're going to love this place this is library then in such a library you can spend your life right this is what internet has to offer to a book lover and i'm doing this to help you gauge the enormity of internet right so remember that big library huge library where you can actually spend your life and let us try to compare these two things this is this internet has to offer to a book lover and that was a huge library physical library where you could have spent your life can you see that i i made that arrow specifically to just help you see that was that huge library where you could have spent your life 
if you were a book lover and this is what and this is uh, this is not an artistic depiction i have actually uh, taken out figures of the amount of information available on the internet versus the amount of information available uh, in the huge libraries like uh, library of congress etc and the ratios are not much different okay this is the reason why a book lover can actually get super engaged to the internet and this was an example for a book lover similar examples exist for whatever your interest is this is the enormity of internet now if and see it's all yours in your hand now if this thing can keep adults hooked on to a device for hours at stretch imagine what it does to the mind of a youngster a child whose curiosity and appetite for efg that is entertainment fun and gossip is infinite so the tools of engagement that some of the world's smartest brains has created are potentially capable of doing something like this i come back to my story of pied piper of hamelin our children are actually going into no cave they are actually going into a device and you can replace this person with all those icons which i showed you in the beginning they are actually going into a device they daily go into a device and parents have to pull them out after a few hours this is happening you are seeing it i am seeing it we are experiencing it so now the point is what should we do now and this question is from the perspective of educators what should the school do now what should the teachers do now uh, all right before we you know think uh, further in, in this direction let me come back to this slide i want to talk more uh, presently little bit about the negative effects of what happens when our children actually walk into a device and and they get mentally locked there uh but before i start talking about the negative effects i am really thankful to mr gary to uh you know set a very positive tone to uh, for today's discussion that there are lots of positives associated with internet which students can get benefit from and we just have to make sure that they stay away from the negative all right so but for the context i just want to talk about what what perils lie ahead for our children if they continue in this direction first and the most obvious is internet addiction device addiction there is lot of debate going on across the world whether internet addiction is actually a medical condition china says yes us says maybe we need more uh, research india says abhi to dekhte hain aaram se sochenge uh but there have been cases where internet addiction has proved very similar like a drug addiction because students showed withdrawal symptoms when they were put away from the device for a certain number of hours just like you put a drug addict away from that dose of drug for a certain number of hours or days withdrawal symptoms show up in his or her body the hands shake the body trembles 
and so many other things which are physical in nature which can be seen happening and which actually is a medical condition similar thing happen in an internet addict there are many researches which which tell you x out of y students are an internet addict now the one which i have recently studied says 4 out of 10 students who are accessing internet are addicts this is just one uh, aspect of the the negative effect of internet the students might actually lose their life to this thing if we do not do something about it there are other negative aspects as well let's say a student is not internet savvy but a user nevertheless and he or she is not aware about the concept of online reputation the brand management as you have so uh, beautifully explained us he or she is not aware that uh, a brand can be created for you know for many purposes the student might end up you know uh, ruining his or her online reputation which can have a disastrous effect on the future on personal life and in the professional life so the ignorance of what internet can do to your life can also have a disastrous effect that is negative effect number 2 negative effect number 3 is if you are too casual about using internet you can actually attract threats physical threats criminals to your own house to places where you visit so there are lots of things which you know uh, if blindly just student walks into this cave uh, he or she can face now i come to this question what should we do now and uh let's take inspiration from two birds these are not the two birds which uh, gary was talking about these are two other popular birds one is this uh our favorite ostrich because uh ostrich shows us how to solve the problem in the shortest amount of time by just you know uh rejecting its existence i have met many educators since past 2 to 3 years uh since the release of my book in this domain and i have uh, i'm sorry to say but the approach was not very different to what this is when i tell them that uh see dcim is an important thing to do they said uh, yeah our students are already very internet savvy so fallacy number 1 internet savviness is not internet maturity and once they say that they actually bury their heads in some sand and they not open to any they go in the direction that if we implement this program students are going to go completely hooked on to internet and they they're going to move away from what school wants them to do i want to tell them that it has already happened 3 years back they have the students have already moved away from what you want them to do and what they are actually doing it even if they are sitting at the desk and smiling at the teacher like this their mind is somewhere else and the reason i've already told you the, the the engagement tools that those smart brains have created do not underestimate them they are actually the best brains on earth so for some reason or the other this keeps on happening we cannot take inspiration from this bird let's take inspiration from the other bird the swan very highly regarded in the indian uh, education ethos what do i want to tell you from this one is very simple can anybody tell me what actually a uh, uh, swan is uh, you know used to symbolize wisdom 
yes, true wisdom, but uh, let's get more specific. What can a swan do in theory, not in practicality? It can discriminate between milk and water. It, it's, it is said that if you give a mixture of milk and water to a swan, it can sip out the milk and leave the water behind. Of course, it, it might not be true in reality, but uh, that actually what a uh, swan symbolizes, and that is why it is used in our uh, Indian education, you know, uh, ethos. Sip out the milk, leave the water behind, because wherever you are going to go, where it is, whether it is the virtual world or the real world, a small library or a huge library, you'll always get that mixture of milk and water. And not just milk and water, there are many other, you know, uh, bad things and good things combined given to you. So, let's get inspired from this one and try to do this. It's flying away from something called I bad, bad things on internet, towards I good, the good things on internet. Today I do not have as much time to tell you what all I bad includes and what all things I good include, but uh, I have already talked about the negative effects of internet. Now I want to you know, talk about what good internet can actually do to the students, to us also as adults, but specifically to students. As educators, you must have heard lots of arguments of how bad our education system is in uh, following a factory model of education, how we are excellent at killing creativity and individuality of students, and how we are so good at creating robots out of students. This is where the I good comes into picture. I was talking about what internet can do bad to the students. Now I am talking about what an excellent opportunity internet gives to students. Living in one city, studying in one school, interacting with a number of teachers cannot ensure that those 1000 students get an opportunity to venture into a career which suits their individual skills. That is why in the past couple of decades it has happened that now we are discussing that how bad our education system is and how excellent it is in killing creativity and individuality of students. But this is where today the technology of internet allows us to do that because even let's say in, uh, a student is very uh, keen on adventure tourism, adventure sports or something like that, he can actually get connected to those pros in New Zealand who are doing a very good business in that domain while he or she is in class 10 and in next couple of years after he's out of college, He's off to New Zealand because he's already landed in that job, in that very job he wanted. This is just one example. I can give you hundreds of examples. If somebody is a passionate a dancer and does not get a stage to perform, YouTube is the stage to perform. So, so many things which I good includes, this fortunately, the opportunities are much more than the threat. And we can realize all those opportunity by making digital citizenship and internet maturity a regular part of your academic program. When you do that, you know, the first set of people to thank you are going to be your students because all the individual skills and capabilities will shine out and profusely you're going to get you know, thanks letters 
every day. The second set of people who are going to thank you for including DCIM in your academic program are these people. I met some senior police of officials in the cybercrime department in my city a couple of weeks back, weeks back. They tell me that just because of the ignorance of what a cyber laws in our country are, uh, children and adults are unintentionally committing lot many cyber crimes and for which they have to get arrested by us. So it is turning out if we actually go and arrest them, all these people who are doing those crimes, it will turn out into a jail bharo andolan. And the gap is that small ignorance which they have regarding these uh, laws of the land. So they are going to thank you. The next set of people who are going to thank you profusely are the parents for helping them reconnect with their kids and helping their kids, kids not only get reconnected with the parents but also with nature. I guess that is quite an epidemic these days in all families disconnected minds of parents and students. Finally, the next set of people who will thank you is the people who are very passionate about the Digital India Dream. Because the Digital India program is going to succeed only, the roots of the Digital India program lie in the DCIM programs that you run in your schools. Because and internet mature professional and mature digital citizens are going to go and you know uh, run these programs successfully and finally yes thank you from my side it was a big hard work for me to create this presentation and uh, i would be happy to take uh, any questions or even comments if you have